problem is that the shaft of the golf is prone to breaking, which endangers the user. There are cases where the broken shaft was sharp enough to stab the k- and kill the users. Some golf clubs are even not well made, which causes the club to affect the accuracy when the ball is hit. There are many solutions to this problem, but one thing in particular is by embedding carbon nanotube into the golf shaft, making it stronger, yet as light as it, as it usually is, and increasing the accuracy when the ball is hit. Carbon is a chemical element, like hydrogen and oxygen, and many more. It is in group 4A of the periodic table of elements, and in period 2, meaning that it has 4 valence electron. What are carbon nanotubes? Carbon nanotubes are nanoparticles discovered in 1991. Carbon nanotubes are composed of carbon atoms linked in hexagonal shapes, with each carbon atom covalently bonded to three other carbon atoms. Carbon nanotubes have diameters as small as one nanometer and up to several centimeters. Although like buckyballs, carbon nanotubes are strong, they are not brittle, they can be bent, and when released, they will spring back to, to their original shape. So why carbon nanotubes? Carbon nanotubes have 200 times the strength and 5 times the elasticity of steel, 5 times the electrical conductivity, 15 times the thermal conductivity, and 1000 times the current capacity of copper, at almost half the density of aluminium. If you look at Young's modulus, it is essentially the tensile elasticity, how much strength is required to strain the material. And for carbon nanotube, it is really high. It is 1000 gigapascal. Comparing it to wood, which is only 10 gigapascal, and to steel, which is 200 gigapascals. In wood, the carbon atoms can hybridize. It hybridizes in what's called an sp3 hybridization state. And this forms a single carbon bond which is relatively weak, which only takes 84 kcal per mole to break this bond. But what makes carbon nanotube so strong? In carbon nanotube, you can get all the carbon atoms into an sp2 hybridization state, which makes the carbon have a double bond. This increases the energy to break this bond to 150 kcal per mole. The advantages of carbon nanotubes. They are extremely small and lightweight, making them an excellent replacement for metallic wires. Resources required to produce them are plentiful, and many can be made with only a small amount of material. They are resistant to temperature changes, meaning they function almost just as well in extreme cold as they do in extreme heat. The disadvantages of carbon nanotubes. Despite all the research, scientists still do not understand exactly how they work. They are extremely small and difficult to work with. Currently, the process is expensive to produce the nanotubes. They would be ex- expensive to implement this technology in, ev- in all the places that we could. At the rate our technology are becoming obsolete, it may be a gamble to bet on this technology. By embedding carbon nanotube into a golf stick, you will increase the hardness, reduce the weight, enhance durability, and enhance strength to weight ratio. But would it be fair to use this material when some people have no access to it? Since the production of carbon nanotubes are still very expensive, the price of the product would be as well. It would not be fair for some people who do not have enough money to access this new technology. You would automatically have the upper hand just by using the technology.